You see trailers broken down along the side of the road all the time. Most of those breakdowns are due to a flat tire. Of course, there's no way to prevent a puncture, but there are ways to prevent other kinds of tire failure. Stay tuned and I'll get you up to speed about trailer tires. Let's start with air pressure. This boat weighs 1,800 pounds, about the same as an average car. The difference is that all that weight rides on two tires instead of four. If they're not inflated to the maximum pressure shown here on the sidewall, they'll run hot and that'll cause them to fail. All tires lose air, even if they're not used, so it's really important to check your air pressure and reinflate to the maximum before you go anywhere. Trailer tires don't usually wear out. They die of old age, and that's especially true if you keep your trailer parked out in the sun. We're looking for sun and age-related cracks in between the tread and along the sidewall. Here's what a severely weathered tire looks like. If you see any cracks like this, get rid of those tires and buy new ones. Some people use passenger car tires on their trailer. That's a horrible idea. They're just not built to handle the kinds of side loads and the weight trailer tires are subjected to. Trailer tires, on the other hand, have stiff sidewalls that keep the trailer tracking better in turns and resisting sway. So when it's time to replace your trailer's tires, always look for the ST designation. That stands for Special Trailer. And by the way, don't expect trailer tires to last as long as car tires. If you're lucky, you'll get four years out of them before they start showing age cracks. When you change tires, get the lug nut torque specs from the trailer manufacturer. Trailer lug nut torque is usually much higher than for a passenger vehicle and use a torque wrench. It's the only way to tighten the lug nuts properly. These tires look good, they're at the right pressure, and I've double checked the lug nut torque. If you do the same checks on your wheels, you won't have to worry about roadside breakdowns. Well, unless you drive through a patch of nails, and I can't help you with that. 